for now, let's humus up this bad boy. Without. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> what did you think was gonna happen? I thought it would be more malleable. How about cutlery? Nah. Good morning and welcome to another full day of eating and today is quite simply an incredible day. It is the first day of the summer holidays which means I now have six weeks off. Pretty much six weeks, that's what I'm talking about. That's undoubtedly the best part of being a teacher. You get six weeks off in the summer, which is insane. Says obviously is off as well, but she's got it even better because she's going to be off for a year because she has just started her maternity leave. Now, um, she obviously as a teacher, <coughs> when you break up for the summer, uh, you tend to get gifts. However, Sarah's has pretty much hit the jackpot. She's gone for a triple header, and I'll explain why. So firstly, she's broken up for the summer, right? Secondly, she's pregnant. Thirdly, she's going on maternity leave. So that's three big hits in terms of presents. And as a result of that, let me show you what she got. What the hell? I need to go back here to get the whole thing in the picture. That is insane. So literally, before yesterday, we were thinking, mm, we should probably get more prepared in terms of baby stuff. We now have pretty much everything you're ever gonna need. Like, we have so much stuff, it is unreal. Like, what the hell, that is madness. Um, anyway, today is a Saturday as it usually is. Uh, as yesterday was my last day, we went out, uh, and I didn't get back till like half two, three maybe, so I'm kind of struggling now, I'll be honest. Uh, it's like 10 o'clock now, um, and I literally just woke up, which is the latest I've woken up in, I can't even remember, maybe like a year, so, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not feeling great. <clears throat> My brother's coming down in a bit, so I need to go training and just man up and get it done. It's only bench press, so I don't really care, to be honest. Um, I'm not feeling hungry. In fact, I'm feeling a little bit sick. Um, I've drunk loads of water. I've said it before, guys, that is my tip. If you go out um, and you want to be hungover, just drink a ridiculous amount of water. Literally, if you just drink, like, you know, three, four, five pints of water before you go to bed, I can assure you, you will feel ten times better than you would otherwise. Um, now, because Cesar's is an absolute hero, she went and got me this. She's on the beach now with uh, some of the fam, but she went to Waitrose. I've already had half of that. It's like a chocolate um, spindly thing that's really good. And then this, I mean, if you know, watch my channel, you know what this is. The greatest dessert in the world. I'm gonna have that right now, actually, because it's freaking incredible. It's like a butter, no, butter scotch. And peas and yum yum. And it's unreal. So it's like yum yum thing, like a donut. And it's got butterscotch on it and then pecans, it's like unbelievably good. Um, also, there seems to be a hair attached to it, so that's a bonus. Um, also have a coffee that says got me, that's a latte, because we're part of the Waitrose scheme, which if you join for free, you get a free drink every day, so if you haven't done it now, you're mad. Uh, that's what I've been drinking, watering, I've had like three of those this morning and probably three of them last night, I think. Uh, now I'm going to fill it with uh, whole milk, <clears throat> coconut oil and protein, I'll have that in a minute. Got some orange juice that I'm going to finish for the micros, a banana, and then my uh, alpha male glucosamine and omega 3 fish oil thingy, which is not there because we've run out, so I need to go and grab some from the cupboard. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to have all of this stuff, uh, sort my life out, and then go training. Um, oh, also, one last thing before I go while I'm giving you updates. Ta da! If you watch my channel regularly, you'd know there is a startling omission from this hallway. That's right, the window's done. So we did have. A massive um, Velux window which has been sitting here for freaking ages, ready to be fitted in our room. It's finally been fitted, so we now have uh, a hallway which is free and not fill up with a ginormous, ludicrously ginormous box. Right, done. I'm going to eat that. Go training. See you afterwards. <laughs> God, um, 
I'm not feeling good. On a scale of 1 to 10, uh, 10 being really bad, I'm like a, probably a 7.5. Um, I started off feeling quite quite good to be fair, like my spotto press felt, felt fairly strong, but then I just gradually got worse and by the end I was just like dragging myself around the, <laughs> around the gym. Uh, it's really, I mean it's really nice, the weather's awesome, like I'm going to go to the beach at some point today, probs, but obviously for training and being a bit hungover it's not the way to go. So, let there be a lesson to you kids, don't go out the night before you want to train. Um, right, on more exciting news, oh damn it! I was going to say I'm protein, but I've left, my, I've left my protein at home, that's annoying, so I've just got water. I've drunk uh, literally about 50 million of these today, I've drunk a lot of water. I'll grab my protein when I get home. Um, but, hello, that's right, it's a beard trimmer. So this is part of my new, uh, new man, new face, visual hair, new man. Basically, my beard growth is horrendous, I don't know if you can split it too light to see, but it's like really, really patchy and bad. So what I'm going to do, rather than just shave, I'm going to experiment with like trimming it really short and then I figure that way it will give the hair that's not growing time to grow through and then I'll probably have a ginormous beard in about three days, that's the plan, so I'll keep you posted on that, maybe do some kind of like beard growth series, um, that's a joke, that would be the worst series ever, um, but yeah, I'm going to drink some more water, go home and then see what's going down. Right, for my protein, um, I am ridiculously sweaty and the weather is really, really good, so I'm definitely going to make the most of it and get to the beach. Uh, so his dad has rung us and said he's having a barbecue on there, so hopefully, uh, fingers crossed, food should be pretty much good to go. Let's go and get some meat. That was a good barbecue, um, and pretty much it's exactly what I needed because I'm still feeling pretty groggy, so I just basically lied in the beach for like an hour and it was awesome. I also went in the sea, which is the best. It's so good, like, I don't want to brag, but living by the sea is awesome because when it's like this and it's super hot, particularly after training, it's so good just to come back and jump in the sea. It's awesome. Um, yeah, food-wise, I had loads. I had, um, had like chicken and sausages, like loads of chicken and sausages, like buns, rolls and stuff. So I made myself a couple of awesome like sausage, ketchup, like bun, sandwich type things. Uh, then they had this uh, cheese, I think it was cheddar pasta, which wasn't the best, it was okay, but it was, I looked at the calories, it was ridiculously calorific. It was like 260 calories per 100 grams. So I ate pretty much the whole thing that, which is like, almost a thousand calories, so easy cows. Well, I'm feeling my stomach is not thanking me for that right now. Um, and then had a couple of muffins, like a chocolate one and a white chocolate, no, a regular one. Um, and now I'm back home, I still haven't showered yet. Uh, my brother's just rung me and let me know he's at the stage, so I'm gonna go and pick him up. Then I'll probably come back and shower because I stink. Okay, so um, I got a brother, we've been kind of hanging out and just kind of bumming around. Uh, I slept for a little bit. Still feel like super weird, like I've, yeah, I'm not like feeling normal today. Uh, so my eating and behavioural patterns have been pretty off. We're gonna have dinner not too in the not too distant future. But in the meantime, um, take advantage of this opportunity where I don't feel too bad to eat some food. So I'm in the process of eating this, which if you watch my video on Thursday, you would have seen. This is the uh, bacon and uh, sausage uh, macaroni, which is really really good. So I'm gonna have for the rest of that. And I'm drinking my 50 millionth drink of the day to keep uh, my hydration up. Uh, yeah, so I have this and then uh, start prepping for dinner. I keep um, finding myself just like sitting down like this. Just like staring at the wall and then before I know it, it's been like 10 minutes and I've literally done nothing. I'm definitely not at my usual uh, level today. Now while I'm talking to you, I'm getting distracted by uh, this ridiculous display. I know I showed you earlier, but let's just have a look at it again. This is unbelievable. Look how much stuff, look how much stuff says got. It's un. Uh, president, it's so cool. So, someone made this like awesome, like crib thing. Like, obviously, it's not actually to be used as a functional crib, it just looks awesome. And it's got all this stuff inside it. There's like loads of stuff here, like so much stuff. This is unreal. Um, yeah, if you want to get loads of free stuff, then work in a school and get pregnant because jackpot. Uh, speaking of being pregnant, pretty sure if we come in here. Hello, look at the size of that, Negro. Come on, don't waggle your knife at me, mate. And what happened last time? Mm -hmm. Punched her in the face. Um, yeah, so this is pretty weird, right? By the time we watch this, the baby is going to be due in like five weeks. Like, what the hell? That is insane. Mm -hmm. Five weeks. Um, yeah, like we should probably, I mean, I feel like we are fairly prepared, I guess. I mean, that stuff definitely helps. Like we had a list of like a million things we had to get and that's probably ticked off like 70% of them. But 
probably like, I don't know, like the room where the baby's gonna be eventually, probably should sort that out a bit. Uh, we need to buy, I need to buy some really small powerlifting stuff that obviously the baby can use like from day one, so like a little deadlift bar, um, some plates and stuff. Maybe some like mini roller skates. Do we agree on that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, okay, that's good, that's good. So yeah, we'll, we'll uh, I'll keep you posted on that front. Uh, now, uh, we need to, we are prepping dinner. When I say we, I mean says we start prepping dinner. This is gonna be a Greek salad. Which is pretty bloody colourful. If I was a vegan, this would be my thumbnail for sure. And it would be like vegan stuff. Um, and then, yeah, feta's gonna go in there as well. Is that vegan? It's not vegan, is it? Cheese isn't vegan. No, it's not vegan. Uh, and then. I think, I think if you use goats, it's vegan. <laughs> oh, that's insulting to goats. Um, if you watch my video on Sunday, last Sunday, the one at the wedding, the awesome day of eating, I had these, we used these buns for the pulled pork and it was unbelievably good, so this has kind of stimulated us into buying these again, I wouldn't buy them before, but for buying these, we're going to have those, and in those, we're going to have these absolute beauts, minted lamb burgers, we've got them from Aldi's, they look really like burger, re and minty and stuff, so I'll put those in there, um, yeah, so what I'll do is, I'll uh, pitch in and do my part, help says make it, and then when it's done, I will show you the finished article. Actually, I'm always just <laughs> stuff coming out very nearly. Okay, <clears throat> you put the camera on my buns, please. What are you doing? <coughs> put the camera on my buns, I said. My buns. That's inappropriate. Um, okay, so that is a salad. Uh, with lots of oregano on it. Oregano. Oregano, I did actually guess that. I didn't guess it, I knew it was that. I know, like, I can name 74 different herbs, so it's just like, um, I'm like Rain Man, they call me Herb Man. It's exactly the same as Rain Man, but I can, my skill is that I can just list loads of herbs, which is actually incredibly useful in everyday life. Um, I'm gonna... Who is? Yeah, I think I might, you know. What I'll do... Got a double burger, by the way. I'm gonna have hummus in this one and then if it's good put it in the second one if not go for ketchup i'll be honest i am not particularly hungry like this looks really good but i'm just all day my appetite has been it's taken an absolute hit so i don't know that's what happens when you party too hard oh that's true that's the price you pay for being incredibly obscenely popular um and having to go out all the time but just the burden i have to carry um yeah so i'm going to try and eat as much as i can get some micros in and then, I mean, this is exciting, but I'm looking forward to going to bed quite a lot, which is one of the coolest things someone can say. But yeah, I really genuinely am looking forward just to going to sleep and just closing my eyes, because that'll be the best thing ever. But for now, let's hummus up this bad boy. Without. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> what did you think was gonna happen? I thought it would be more malleable. How about cutlery? Nah, it's coming. Spider well. Um, I'm not actually gonna be able to reuse this now. Bear with me. Bear with me. Uh, other people have to use it. Like who? Me. Right. Let's see how we're looking. Yeah, that's really good. I'm gonna have that in the other one as well, to be fair. The bun is awesome as well. You go to all these, you get the brioche bun, they're really, really good. And big news, I finally freaking showered. It's 10 o'clock and I've done it. I'm wearing clean clothes. I uh, feel a lot better, a lot less of a dirty weirdo. My face is quite red in this light. I don't think it's as red as it appears here. Um, <clears throat> I'm in the process of drinking this, which is my uh, super bulking concoction. Uh, concoction if you're new to the channel or you just have a terrible terrible memory it is uh, like a mug of uh, milk whole milk which I microwave 30 to 40 grams of coconut oil uh, 30 grams of chocolate smooth whey protein or 30 to 40 grams of that uh, 5 grams of creatine and then a lot of love and shaking uh, which you can do simultaneously but it is quite weird and you probably want to do that in a room by yourself not on video um, yeah so I'm gonna finish this. I'm literally struggling to stay awake. I'm so tired. Uh, 
my body is definitely not happy with last night, so I'm going to go to bed pretty soon to get a kind of uh, blah, 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 to uh, restore some equilibrium and make up for that. So, like, as a means of apology to my body, I've also written my body up uh, an apology letter, which I'll read um, later on upstairs. Um, I don't know what I'm talking. I'm literally in a state of delirium, so I'm going to go to bed, guys. Um, apologies. I mean, I haven't watched the video back. I feel like today it's been quite fun, but it has been tarnished by my struggle, my physical struggle. So I apologise if this video sucks. If it did suck, then just go and watch a really, really bad video, and then come back and watch this, and it'll make it seem better. You know? Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you enjoyed the fact that I did an absolutely textbook handstand in the sea earlier on, give it a thumbs up as well. And I will see you tomorrow.